Hi, Ron Davidson here again, and in this video we're going to discuss clarity. It's one of the four C's. Cut, color, clarity, and carrot. Now the very top grade is called flawless, or internally flawless, IF. So if I draw my little diamond diagram here, even under high power magnification there's absolutely nothing in the stone. There's not even a pinpoint inclusion. Now one down from flawless or eternally flawless is the VVS range. Now in all of the rest of the grades there's a one and a two and the way I describe it it's like a B plus or a B minus. So you have VVS one and VVS two. Now we'll just draw one diamond here. Now a VVS one Basically, once again, under high magnification, on, with a trained eye, there'll be just a single little dot, almost impossible to see. And it may sometimes take a trained appraiser 15 minutes or half an hour to find it. It's that difficult. Uh, a VVS-2 might have two of these little dots, or there'll be one slightly bigger dot. Now. The next grade down is VS1 and then VS2. Now I should mention that the VS range and the VVS range are very, very beautiful stones. VVS is a very rare stone and there's not very many out there. And they tend to be relatively expensive because of their rarity. Now the VS1, VS2, you're starting to get into sort of a more common grade. Now what happens with the VS1 and VS2 is you're going to have a larger inclusion or you're going to have several smaller ones. Uh, but still, under a microscope, pretty difficult to see. They don't jump out at you. A VS2, a trained person can see it relatively quickly, but still very insignificant even under high magnification. Now the next grade down is called SI. Now I should mention too, VVS stands for very, very slight or very, very small inclusions. VS is very small, very slight. SI is slight inclusions or small inclusions. Now, obviously, as you're getting into the SI1s and the SI2s, you're getting into more pronounced and larger inclusions. So it's not uncommon to see something like that in an SI1 or SI2 something quite big off to the side or you could have a stone with maybe four or five different inclusions scattered about it now even an untrained eye under a microscope it's pretty easy to see these flaws now theoretically in SI2 or higher you should need a microscope or a loop some sort of magnification to see it now in actual practice especially on slightly larger stones let's say over a carat um, it's quite common to be able to just make out an SI2. Um, but below an SI2, you get into the I1, I2, I3 range. And this is when you can start to see the individual flaws with the eye. You don't need magnification. So you're talking about quite pronounced characteristics, so you can see them with the eye. Now, I usually don't sell these. Occasionally I do if somebody's budget just, and they have to have a certain size, dictates it. But it's very tricky because with the I1s, I2s, I3, there's a lot going on in there. And not only can you see the individual flaws with the eye, but because they're so large, they actually block the light going in and being reflected out. So uh, they can be a little on the dull looking side because of the many inclusions inside. So generally we recommend SI2 and higher and your best value and I think the best sort of two grades to concentrate on is SI1 VS2. You have a relatively nice clarity range, you can't see it with the eye and you're not paying a huge premium. Um, that's basically clarity grading in a nutshell. Thank you.